Reactions to the indictment of Hamas leaders have been polarized, reflecting the deep political divide in the U.S. Some see it as a misuse of resources, questioning whether the Justice Department is motivated more by politics than justice, especially with an election on the horizon. This frustration is tied to a broader sentiment that selective justice is being applied, with many disillusioned by the government's failure to address more urgent domestic issues. For critics, the timing of the indictment feels politically motivated, possibly intended to bolster credibility or serve as a distraction from unresolved matters such as economic challenges or ongoing political scandals. Today, the Justice Department unsealed charges against Yahya Sinwar and other senior leaders of Hamas for financing and directing a decades-long campaign to murder American citizens and endanger the security of the United States. As outlined in our complaint, those defendants, armed with weapons, political support, and funding from the government of Iran and support from Hezbollah, have led Hamas's efforts to destroy the state of Israel and murder civilians in support of that aim. In its attacks over the past three decades, Hamas has murdered or injured thousands of civilians, including dozens of American citizens. In the early morning hours of October 7th of last year, Hamas, led by these defendants, committed its most violent, large-scale terrorist attack to date. During the attack, Hamas terrorists murdered civilians who tried to flee and those who sought refuge in bomb shelters. They murdered entire families. They murdered the elderly, and they murdered young children. They weaponized sexual violence against women. On October 7th, Hamas terrorists murdered nearly 1,200 people, including over 40 Americans, and kidnapped hundreds of civilians. They perpetrated the deadliest massacre of Jews since the Holocaust. This weekend, we learned that Hamas murdered six more hostages, including Hirsch Goldberg Poland, a 23-year-old Israeli American. We are investigating Hirsch's murder and each and every one of the brutal murders of Americans as acts of terrorism. We will continue to support the whole of government effort to bring the Americans still being held hostage home. The charges unsealed today are just one part of our effort to target every aspect of Hamas's operations. These actions will not be our last. The Justice Department has a long memory. We will pursue the terrorists responsible for murdering Americans and those who illegally provide them with material support for the rest of their lives. From another perspective of the eye, the indictment can be viewed as an important step in ensuring justice and national security, fitting within the conservative view that the U.S. must protect its citizens from threats both foreign and domestic. The Department of Justice's move to hold Hamas leaders accountable for crimes against Americans aligns with the expectation that the government will defend the national interest. Furthermore, with references to Hamas's ties to Iran and Hezbollah, both considered hostile to U.S. interests, the indictment is seen by some as reinforcing the need for a strong foreign policy against regimes that back terrorism. However, criticisms remain about the perceived inefficiencies within the justice system. The lack of action on other high-profile investigations, such as those involving Hunter Biden's laptop or Jeffrey Epstein's client list, has led to accusations of double standards. This has fueled the narrative that while foreign terrorists are being prosecuted, domestic scandals are being neglected, highlighting concerns about government dysfunction and political bias.